Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So I've shuffled the cards and laid them out and we can begin. Now these energies are covering some of the things that have you know potentially happened for some of you it could also be indicating things that are ongoing during this period of time now the first card that i have this energy is showing to me you know there's this sense that something fell apart there might have been a connection a relationship a union that may have crumbled to pieces okay so with this particular energy i feel like it symbolizes a relationship that may have collapsed due to someone's anger it could be talking about the fact that someone decided to let go of the other person okay there's also an indication here that with this there could have been the element of reality coming through and so there was the semblance of truth and being able to see things right for what they are so it could have been a form of you know revelations things coming to surface especially about the relationship about the person concerned so this could have been the two of you going through this at the same time or both you and this individual may have felt and experienced this during that specific period. Now, I will go into this energy in more depth, but let's move on to the next energy. We'll come back to the first energy uh, in a moment. So the next energy is talking about feeling, you know, stuck, feeling helpless, feeling like you can't make a move. It's like everything collapsed in pieces and you don't know what is the next thing to do, right? So I'm picking up with this particular energy that a lot of you could be going through something where you feel stuck. You feel like you can't move out of it. You feel like in terms of the energy that... Um, there's a sense of hopelessness connected to this because everything collapsed and everything fell to pieces and you know you felt as if things changed in a way but it left you in a place in which you couldn't do anything about it and this individual may have felt that as well they may have felt as if they don't know what to do and as a result of this particular energy in this moment in time neither you or this individual could be taking any initiative because it just, it still feels very raw, right? That's the type of energy that I'm picking up in terms of the situation. And uh, again, I'll be uh, expanding on, uh, on this energy in a moment. So let's see, the next energy I'm looking at, and this is showing to me that uh, there was once a time of happiness, joy. There was a time of where the two of you were looking forward to having something together or potentially building towards a relationship. And I feel like this energy was, uh, you know, it was that thread of hope, the thread of um, joy that uh, the two of you felt in loving each other. And it is what uh, brought the two of you together to a great extent. So it's quite interesting that in this situation and in this moment of time you know both you and this individual are feeling you know so stuck so limited and unable to uh, move from that place okay so let's start clarifying For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available for your zodiac sign of Aries in the year of 2020. Focus on your love life. You can find the link in the description box below.
Okay. So this energy that is a symbol of the happiness and, you know, that family life that the two of you were striving towards, whether it's even, you know, the two of you being as a couple in a relationship, that could be, you know, the major thing here that is, um, uh, you know, drawing the two of you together, right? You may have found that uh, this is the person that you could spend your life with. That's the type of energy that was felt. So I feel like there's another energy that's connected to it, and that's talking about you know, remorse and sadness and regret about uh, how things have fallen apart and feeling a sense of sadness connected to that energy. So I feel like the two of you are registering that from a place of where both you and this individual could have had your Ten of Cups. You're now at a place in which you are suffering together and there's loss, there's sadness, there's sorrow, you know. And uh, I feel like, you know, there's this energy of crying over uh, a situation that has disappointed the two of you immensely. And uh, I feel like, you know, for some of you, you could be going through the process of grieving. And uh, for others, you could be longing to, um, uh, you know, reunite. And then there's going to be a small handful of you that are starting to accept that maybe this is time to say goodbye, or maybe things are over for good. So there's that sort of energy, you know, many of you will have different emotions regarding the situation, depending on where you are at in terms of this relationship and how long you've been in it and how much time and effort you invested in it, you know. So the next energy is uh, highlighting that this was a love that was very uh, innocent sort of love. And uh, there's uh, this sort of emotional innocence that came along with it. And I feel like you were allowing yourself to, um, you know, go by your attraction towards this individual and uh, I feel like you know you may have tried to be very considerate of this individual and you were trying to uh, forgive and heal uh, you know some of the things you may have experienced with this person or potentially with other people as well so I feel like something has changed as a result of um, some of these emotions that you've experienced because what I am sensing is that there was a, something that really, you know, hurt you, potentially hurt this individual. But uh, I'm picking up from your energy specifically that there's an acceptance of certain things. There's an acceptance that certain things are the way, uh, you know, uh, the way they are right now because of uh, actions and behaviors that were taken in the past. Could be this individual, could be your energy your actions it could be a you know combination of both of that factors and variables now the next card is showing to me this feeling of being stuck you know just being stuck and this is uh, not particularly your energy that's coming out i feel like it's more of this individual's energy just feeling stuck in a situation in which um, they are having a hard time in so i'm seeing this person as not being able to think straight, not being able to formulate proper thought or to put together words that would make sense at this point of time because they are so shattered by what has happened. So they're not able to communicate things that they want to communicate. But I also feel like something is happening in their life. There's something moving along here in the background of their world. And this might not even have anything to do with you. This could be an energy that is, um, you know, forcing this individual into the corner, forcing this individual to face things and see for what they for what they truly are. And uh, this person is having a very hard time, um, you know, facing these things, having a very hard time dealing with these things because the truth and the reality of it and being honest with themselves is incredibly hard, incredibly, incredibly hard. It feels like, you know, these arrows are falling from the sky all around this individual and they have to deal with the reality of, you know, their actions, X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C, what did they do then? And, you know, how they acted, how they behaved. It's like, it's like, it's all coming, it's all coming to the surface now. You can't really run from it. You can't really hide from it. You can't, um, you know, pretend as if 
you know, those past actions didn't have an effect upon the situation. You can't pretend as if those uh, elements that occurred before it didn't, um, you know, make an impact upon your life and upon their life, right? So the next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me the energy of the things that were collapsing and falling to pieces. But I feel like, you know, in terms of your energy, you were still upright. You were still in control. For some reason, you were still in control because we have a masculine, we have a feminine energy. So the masculine energy is in reverse, meaning that they've lost control. And your feminine energy, you know, it still remained in power. It still remained uh, holding the ball in your court. You know, you still had it. You still have it till today, okay? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of this very interesting reading on an extended. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.